With its vibrant colours, fine detail and poetic symbolism, the pre-Raphaelite art movement of the 19th century is always guaranteed to draw a crowd, and the end of the summer holidays is the perfect time to take in a spot of culture. It's a fantastic showcase of artworks from all over the country and overseas which encapsulate the legend of King Arthur, its connection to Cornwall and the enduring fascination that um, the public has had with the pre-Raphaelites. The centrepiece of the exhibition is a series of works called The Lady of Shalott, painted in 1888 by John William Waterhouse. It tells the story of a woman, the Lady of Shalott, who was put under a curse. She was relegated to a tower where she was confined to spend her days weaving what she saw through the reflection in a mirror. One day she broke that curse by turning to face the window as she saw Lancelot walking past. She fell in love with him and it culminates in her tragic death sadly, because her love is unrequited and she sets herself off in a boat towards Camelot where she dies um, and Lancelot spies her from, from the windows in the castle. We've had a really, really positive response from visitors. They've just absolutely loved the fact that all of this amazing artwork is here. It's made its way down to Cornwall and it's free to view as well. We are a free art gallery. We've had days when it has been really, really busy and it's been quite, a, quite an experience for our staff as well, managing all of these visitors. But it's been absolutely fantastic and uh, we've really enjoyed having it here really amazing. It's uh, staggering to see so many incredible paintings in a, a pretty small gallery. The, the quality has just blown me away. I came in, I immediately saw the Lady of Shot and a few other water houses and uh, an absolutely stunning tapestry. It's uh, an extraordinary collection, absolutely. Well, I just love the pre raphaelites They are my, my it's my favourite, yeah. Um, so it's, it's a real treat. The exhibition runs until the end of September so still plenty of time to come along and appreciate the beauty of these stunning pieces of art. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Falmouth.